Welcome back to Earth Imaging Basics. I'm Josh Weiner. In previous videos, we discussed spatial resolution, the size of a pixel on the ground, spectral resolution, the content of a pixel, and temporal resolution, a measure of how often a pixel is collected. Today, we're going to talk about positional accuracy, or how close the position of a pixel is in relation to its true known position on Earth. With navigational apps, humans use mapping for visual context and routing. But as driving becomes assisted and even automated, machines and AI will rely on highly accurate mapping information for vehicle control. Today, accuracy is essential for city planning, energy exploration, financial analysis, and numerous other applications. Let's say you wanted to count cars in a specific retailer's parking lot. Pairing high spatial resolution with low accuracy could result in counting cars in the wrong lot, causing serious errors in your financial predictions. Now, imagine you're investigating a prospective drilling site. You'll need to know critical details like the accurate location and distance of nearby buildings for safety regulations. Being 50 or 100 meters off will skew your reports, potentially costing the company large fines and wasted resources. Here we are at Logan Circle in Philadelphia, showing different CE90, or 90% circular error accuracies. As accuracy improves, the area which 90% of points will fall within gets smaller and smaller. Improving accuracy gives us more reliable data for building advanced data science models, precise maps, and day-to-day -day critical decision making. Now we've talked about imagery collection, spatial, spectral, and temporal resolution, and accuracy. Let's connect and find out how Digital Globe can help you hit the mark.